Hi everyone, I'm Armozi and welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Within The Long War. So, let's continue where we left off. Maybe we'll get a slightly easier mission this time around. That would be nice. I can't imagine getting anything harder than that large UFO right now. Okay, small UFO. That's much better. If we can actually shoot it down, which is not so obvious. I only have two interceptors left. So yeah, I might actually fail shooting this down. I don't have more than a few seconds per interceptor and I didn't hit it at all, not even once. Great. Let's try balance this time around. But I have a bad feeling about this. This is my last interceptor that I can use right now. And I kind of need experience for my rookies and small UFO crash site is the best rookie training mission possible. Okay, nice, that worked. I might send an all-rookie squad to this mission. Because small UFO crash site is pretty much the easiest mission you can possibly get. So it's great for rookies. I have quite a lot of rookies still. I should actually hire more soldiers, perhaps. I only have two people who aren't fatigued. No, these are still rookies. I don't have a single soldier who's not fatigued and already promoted to something else. Okay, so we don't have a big choice here. I'll just grab a few people. Maybe someone with decent aim. 69. That's pretty decent. 67. And wow, well, 57 is low. But I guess I'll need promotions for everyone. We'll bring the 57 one to. And 61 aim and 10 defense. I do like 10 defense. So, how do we want to do this? Hmm, 57 aim is really low, which means I'm going to use Assault Carbine and maybe even Laser Sight. Then again, AP Grenade is a guaranteed hit. I can use Laser Sight instead of the Med Kit, so that works. And Tactical Armor? Yeah, I need these people to stay alive, so Tactical Armor seems like a good idea. 14 mobility is pretty good. Who had the highest aim? That was a guy with 69. Where is he? Oh, that's her, right, okay. So, tactical armor again. She will keep the assault rifle, AP grenade, and maybe get laser sight. That will give her 74 aim, that's decent. I do need some grenades though. Okay, I don't need plus one hit point, not really. So, this guy has 66. One flashbang grenade would be useful. So let's give this guy tactical vest. Actually no, hold on. Who has the second lowest aim? That was someone with 59? Or was it? 57, but surely has the equipment that I want. Oh, this guy had the lowest aim. And he has 10 defense. So what I can do on this guy is give him tactical vest, assault carbine, and two grenades. Let's see. AP grenade and maybe high explosive grenade. There we go, just in case I'll want to blow up some cover. But I need some explosives. What else? Did I check everyone? Let's just check them one by one. One more time. Everyone needs tactical armor. Well, almost everyone, except the people I'm maximizing mobility on. Was it this guy? No, I didn't change this guy. Let's see then. Armor. He has 66. Let's give him the carbine. Flashbang grenade. I do like flashbang grenade. So that will give me two flashbang grenades. Let's not overthink this too much. This is just a small UFO crash site. This looks more than reasonable enough to me. So hopefully we'll get some promotions from this. I need some more promotions. Let's get started then. I don't think I'll have any floaters in this mission. I only had floaters, chrysalids and other nasty things in the previous mission because that was a supply barge. Not really the type of UFO that you are supposed to do. You're not really supposed to succeed clearing that. Not during the first month. I was crazy enough to try it and I did get quite a lot of nice loot out of it. Even though I aborted. Anyway, let's focus on this one. I don't think I'll see any aliens other than sectoids and maybe a drone or two. 
Overwatch, just in case I'll get some patrol running into me. I will obviously have the outsider inside the UFO itself. I can hit some meld. But I'm not going to rush to get meld, definitely not. I need to stay alive. I do have 17 meld or something like that already. So that's a decent amount. Considering... I only had, what, two missions, three missions? The first mission had no meld at all. I'm just keeping everyone close together. In case I'll get some patrol running into me. Overwatch. There should be some patrol outside of the UFO. Okay, there's something nearby. Let's maybe use the high ground. I'm not sure if this is going to count as high ground, but it should. Yes, it should. There's the UFO, so we can position ourselves around here. I can actually dash into full cover. And I shouldn't trigger anything like this. I might actually have a chance to grab the meld. I wouldn't mind getting more meld, it's just not top priority. It's a little bit dangerous rushing for meld. It. It. It's pretty damn dangerous rushing for anything in the long war. There's a meld container. So I'll just move towards it. She can go here. And one more guy. Yep. I can keep him on intercept. I mean, on overwatch. What am I talking about? Yeah, overwatch. Just in case some patrol run is into me. Nope. Alright, let's see if we can trigger anything out here. Okay. I don't want to trigger the outsider just yet. But I need to deal with the outsider for sure. There should be some patrol out here. So I don't want to go too close. The unfortunate part about this melt container is that if I want to load that melt container, I'll have to trigger the outsider. I don't really have a choice. I will definitely trigger the outsider if I move next to that container. I need to go closer if I want to load it on the next turn. I don't really want to go here. Because I might trigger something. Okay, I didn't. I can load that meld on the next turn then. So this one is done. No, one more person. So go here and use overwatch. Bring it on. I should get some patrol. Yes, this is the outsider inside the UFO. There's the patrol, okay. So I should kill that before I handle the outsider. I don't want to fight outsider on top of other aliens. One sectoid down? No, he had four hit points, not three. But one more hit. Another reaction shot? Nope. That missed. Okay, maybe next time. Can I run towards that melt container and then throw a grenade? I'm not sure if I can throw a grenade that far. I might be able to. I would only hit one sectoid though, because second one has cover. But let's grab this meld. I will probably trigger the outsider. No, I won't. Okay then, so free meld. I can kill the sectoid, but this grenade won't damage the other one. Let's not do it just yet, I can take a few shots. 23%, that's very low, unfortunately. Let's see, anyone else wants to take a shot? Let's go here. Is this any better? No, not really, 22%. Oh yeah, he has high cover. Does he? Does this count as high cover? Apparently it does. So maybe I should use that grenade. This is just a small UFO, it won't have that many aliens. It's not really a big deal using grenades. I could use the grenade and then overwatch. Not a terrible idea. I can try to take a shot just in case I'll get lucky or something like that. Okay, maybe I will. And I think I did. Yep. Nice one. So one down. Not much point using a grenade now then. Because I can't hit the other one with the grenade. I might as well just take a shot. Overwatch. 24%. Okay, let's not bother with that one. So, Overwatch party. The best kind of party. And he's invited. As the main guest. Okay, he went on Overwatch. Instead of trying to move or shoot me. I think second belt container just blew up or something. So let's take a few shots. If I try to hit him with like everyone, I should get at least one hit. 
in theory, but that's not how it works in practice. Yes, I noticed you missed, but thanks for the update. Let's try from here. Oh yeah, he's on overwatch, right, but he can't do 6 damage with the reaction shot. He missed. I did have high ground here. So, 23%? Come on, can you hit? Well, that's not exactly what I had in mind. Just saying. I don't think I can take any more shots. Okay, one more. Come on, kill it. Nope. I could just throw a high explosive grenade on the next turn or something. And that will kill it. Or at least it should. Nope, that didn't work either. Alright. Overwatch. He'll probably try to hit someone now. Or he will move out of my line of sight. Is this out of my line of sight? No, it's not. 39%, that's a little bit better. But still pretty low. How about you adjust aim before you take a shot? Right, so I'll trigger that reaction shot and then probably just use the high explosive grenade. I should be close enough. I only need to do 2 damage. No, this won't do 2 damage. This will do 1 damage. Okay, looks like I'll have to wait one more turn. I'm not in a huge rush, so I can wait. No problem. Alright, let's wait then and reload. Oh, he might actually try to flank me. No, he won't do that. But I need to kill him, like, faster. Yeah, that's not good. I'm taking damage now. Now I can throw a grenade. I could flank him, but if I do that, I will almost definitely trigger the outsider. I would prefer to not do that. AP grenade will do the trick. So just throw AP grenade and be done with it. Now I can reload my weapons. I can heal myself. There's no huge rush. There should be one more patrol. Somewhere around here. So I could just wait for that patrol to run into me. Let's heal up a little bit. Back to full. I'm glad I didn't trigger the outsider yet, because these things are actually quite nasty with the long war. Even one single outsider can be slightly problematic. So where's that second patrol? Has to be somewhere around here. I could fight the outsider now if I want to. I can just run as close as possible and then kill the outsider with grenades. That's probably the best way to do it. So let's move closer but without triggering anything. This shouldn't trigger it. Until I open the force field. So... Move closer. Right here. And we'll just use overwatch again. Reload. I should be able to do enough damage with two AP grenades. And it looks like that patrol was on the other side or no, I think this was the outsider. So move closer. And one more time. I'll just move everyone here. Or well, not everyone, but four soldiers. And you go here. That should make it fairly easy. And these two can stay where they are. It sounds like that patrol is somewhere to the right of my current position. No, I didn't want to do that, damn it. I wanted to open the force field, not run in. Oh well, I run in, whatever. But now I'll have to move. So, AP grenade. No, I can't throw it far enough. Great. That's fantastic. I should be able to throw it far enough from here. Or I can just go in. That's a better idea. I could throw a flashbang grenade. But I'm pretty sure I can kill it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can kill it. With all these soldiers. It might take up to three grenades. But this is more or less a guaranteed kill. If I use three grenades. So, okay, let's use three grenades. I'm not going to take any risks. These things can do quite a lot of damage. This guy could actually kill one of my soldiers in one hit. And if I don't kill him now, he will regenerate some of his health. So, one more grenade. Yep. And that's going to be a kill. I can try to take a regular shot before I throw that grenade. 
Just in case I'll get lucky or something. And 39% is not that bad. Okay, this did nothing. One more. 38%. Well, that kind of worked, but not really. Not exactly what I wanted to achieve with that shot. No, not you. Well, I can take a shot with this guy too. Nope. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was aiming at. But definitely not at the alien. That's for sure. So this is going to be a kill. Bye. It's been nice knowing you. And that was a promotion too. Did this guy have decent aim? Let's check his stats. So one more group and it seems to be that way. He has 70 aim, 34 will. Okay, not bad. Let's go outside then and hurdle that last group. That's just a group of sectoids. This is pretty much the easiest mission you can possibly get, so... If I get any more small EFO crash signs, I'll just use them to train my rookies. Regardless of how many experienced soldiers I'll have. So, come on. Show your ugly faces. No, we are not alone out here. Definitely not. Three sectoids. Come on, kill it. Nope. Yes, you hit a rock. Grats. You won't get a promotion for that. Definitely not. Not if I have anything to say about that. I can't run into full cover. Well, this is also full cover. I could just throw a grenade from here and kill two sectoids like that. Which is not the worst idea ever. Alright, let's just do that. I can actually maybe kill all three. Like this? Yeah. I think this grenade might kill all three. Yep, I think it did. No? No, I didn't hit the third one, right. Okay, I can't even see the third one right now. So, let's have a look. Nope, I still can't see him. Well, one sectoid can't really do a whole lot. Let's just use Overwatch party. Good old-fashioned Overwatch party. Oh, now I can see him. 43%. Okay, not quite good enough. But I can take one more shot, probably. No? No, I don't think so. These people aren't close enough. I can't throw the high explosive grenade far enough. Or can I? Actually, I kind of can. This should hit the sectoid and it should do one damage. At least he was highlighted red. No, that didn't work. Oh well. But he was highlighted red. I'm just saying. I definitely can't see him from here. So... I can't kill that sector on this turn. Which is fine. He can't really do a whole lot. That's one sectoid. Now I can flank him. Quite easily. 1% chance to hit. Yes, that's going to happen. This guy didn't get a promotion. Can I flank him? I can just shoot him in the face. Sure. Why not? Grats on your kill. Don't miss. Bye. So, mission done. Only six aliens. Did we get anything nice? As in the promotions, obviously. Oh wow, everyone got a promotion. Okay, that's perfect. Let's see then. Field medic grenadier. She has 69 plus 5 aim. And decent will. And 7 defense. I think I'll use her as engineer. So engineer. Next up we got this guy. 67 aim. 5 defense. Not fantastic. I could use run and gun for this guy. I don't think I have anyone with run and gun yet. No, I don't. So run and gun. He's going to be assault. And use shotgun to the face tactics. 66 plus 7. That's going to be lightning reflexes. That's a little bit too low for a sniper. So lightning reflexes for a scout. Next up we got our Pita. Okay, her aim is very, very low. I could use her as a medic. Okay, that's going to be my second medic so far. 
Next up, we got this guy. 63 aim and pretty high defense. Suppression. Yeah, Rocketeers actually need decent aim. Let's grab Suppression and make this guy a gunner. And last but not least, 61 aim, 10 defense again. So, shotgun to the face. High defense is good for assaults. So, let's make this guy an assault. Okay, I'm quite happy with that mission. Only one person is wounded. We got six promotions. We got alien computers. Some corpses, Alerium, Meld. And we can sell this junk. I might actually start building either a lift or another generator. Sell this first. So we have 176 credits. I could build a generator here because I'll have a steam generator down here. So I can take advantage of adjacency bonus in the future. I could get started on access lift. Which I'll need one way or the other. Let's get started on access lift actually. Can I build both access lift and then also the generator? I would need 220 for that. I can probably do that if I sell some corpses. Yeah, easily. I have quite a lot of sectoid corpses. So let's sell some. I'm not going to sell you for flight computer. Right, sell more corpses. Like this. That's going to be enough already. Wait, no, that's not enough. I need 120. Yep. Sell a few more. I can sell one or two meld. But I would prefer not to. Sell one alien alloy. This is exactly enough. And that will leave me with zero credits. But I'll have to start hiring some extra soldiers soon. Because right now I only have seven who aren't fatigued or wounded. That's not great. Abductions. Light alien activity and we will get 80 credits. Alright, let's do it then. I'll clear all of this and see who's available. Yeah, I have a lot of soldiers who are still fatigued. I got my infantry, so that's useful. And I got medic, that's also useful. And I got another medic. No, I already picked that one. Oh, this guy is assault, right. No, did I click on someone fatigued? Yes, I did. Never mind that then. So the remaining four slots will have to be rookies in this case. And pretty bad rookies too. Oh well. Light alien activity, so shouldn't it be too hard? This mission should be sectoids only still. So 15 and aim, 6 defense, alright. Good enough. So this guy. He can fire twice per turn because he's infantry. So I might want to bring some extra ammo. I might give him extra ammo and laser sight. That's not a bad idea. Seeing how he can fire twice per turn. Tactical armor and he will keep the assault rifle. As for the medic, the medic needs a med kit, obviously. Tactical armor on everyone, I need them to stay alive. I could give him the assault carbine. That gives him extra aim and a little bit of extra mobility. Or removes the penalty at least. So that seems reasonable enough. He will keep the AP grenade. Next up, the rookies. Everyone will keep tactical armor. I might give them assault carbines. Well, 66 aim is my best rookie right now, at least in terms of aim. So she can grab assault rifle and maybe laser sight. And she will keep the AP grenade. That gives her 71 aim, that's not terrible. But the remaining three rookies have 60, 63 aim. Or even 59. I think they will grab assault carbine. That's plus 7 aim. So that's decent. That gives him 70. I can deal with that. He will keep the high explosive grenade. I might want to bring one more med kit though. So she can grab the med kit. And same as before. Assault carbine. She will keep the AP grenade. And same setup on all the rookies. Assault carbine. It does less damage, but plus 7 aim will be useful. Okay, looks good to me, I think. This should be more than enough grenades. Alright, let's go. I need some promotions from this. Would be nice to get the infantry promoted. 
but we'll see about that. I currently afford to be very picky about who gets the kills. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. This shouldn't be too hard though. With IP grenades, I can usually kill sectoids with one grenade. And I don't think I'll have any other alien types in here. So which map is this? Oh, is this the council mission map? Yeah, it is. This is the portent map, isn't it? Yeah, looks like it. Alright, this might be interesting. Let's be careful with this though. I won't be rushing too much. Or at all. This mission has light alien activity, so that means three groups, I think. But I'm going to be careful regardless. This guy can go here and just use overwatch on everyone. There's no rush. I might have some patrols running into me, that would be best. Did I hear non-sectoid aliens? Yes, I think I did. Okay then, this might be a little bit harder than I anticipated. Let's be careful here. There might be a group on the other side of this building. So let's not trigger it just yet. Oh, there we go. I did trigger a group of sectoids after all. Okay, but that's just three sectoids. I can deal with that. Full cover will be a little bit more useful here. This guy is not close enough to take a shot. Let's dash into full cover here. This is going to be slightly awkward. I hope these sectoids will move towards me. And maybe run into my reaction shots. Okay, Overwatch. I need them to move a little bit closer. Otherwise, this is going to be pretty tough to deal with. So, come here. What are they doing? Not a whole lot right now. They are confused about life. Oh, there he is. Is he in range of my infantry? I hope so. Come on, trigger Overwatch. No? Oh well. He's actually firing at me. Okay, I think I'm close enough to throw a grenade if I want to. My infantry can take a shot. 44% and he can fire twice. So let's try to hit with this guy first. At least once. Nope. I can't trigger Overwatch without taking a risk because I don't have anyone with lightning reflexes. I can throw a grenade and hit them both. So yeah, let's do that. It won't kill them. Well, it might kill the one with 3 hit points, but it won't kill the one on the left. Okay, one dead, and the other one is down to two hit points only. I can take a shot from back here with 40%, that's decent. Nope. My infantry can fire one more time. Anyone else? Yep. 36%, surely someone will hit. There we go. Nice one. One more sectoid. I'll just stay back here and use overwatch. That sectoid will probably move towards me. And these are good defensive positions. So come here. We have a party and you're invited. No? Is he moving or what? I think I can hit a drone. And drones can be a little bit annoying to hit. Because they have a defensive bonus. Right, let's just wait for that sectoid. There's no rush. But I'll move into proper full cover maybe. This is full cover. Looks good. Okay, overwatch. And then I'll just reload all my weapons before I move on. Oh, another group? Okay. Come on, kill one. Nope. Well, that wasn't great. And they are a little bit too far away for a grenade. I do have some high explosive grenades, so I could maybe destroy their cover. Alright then, so how do we do this? Oh, now I have to move. With her. Because she's being flanked. I need to break suppression first though. So I could just throw a grenade. Run closer and throw a grenade. Do I even have to run closer? Yes, I do. Are these sectoids on Overwatch? No, they are not. Okay, let's run closer with my medic. And my medic could use another kill. And... Break suppression. By killing the sectoid. <laughs> Yeah, catch. Bye. There we go. Delayed death animation. <laughs> Can be a little bit confusing at times. Now I need to move. 
I can move into full cover over here, then open the door and take a shot. Seems reasonable enough. I shouldn't trigger anything else like this. So, 36%. I might just hunker down and wait one turn here. I don't like these odds too much. 37%. Let's see, any more full cover around here? Not really. I can move in here. I don't have to dash though, there's no need to do that. So let's not dash. I'll just move towards the door. Oh, I can actually see something from all the way back here. 40%. Okay, let's try that. Nice. Only one damage though. As for this guy, he can't do anything overly useful. He can't shoot anything. She needs to hunker down, I think. And this guy needs to move. I couldn't run I could run my infantry here. And then he will be able to fire twice on the next turn. That seems reasonable enough. This is full cover. So I don't think he will get killed or anything like that. It's a shame I can't throw a grenade far enough. And I don't have explosive grenade on her. Do I want to reload? No, let's just hunker down. So, three sectoids. He actually moved towards me. It's a shame he didn't trigger the reaction shots. Come on. Now Overwatch? Alright. Now I could throw a grenade if I want to. I want to get some kills on my infantry, on, on my medic guy. They need more experience. My infantry doesn't have any grenades, so he actually needs to hit. Nice one. So that's a kill. And let's try one more. That's 29%. Nice one, awesome. <laughs> Two kills in one turn. With pretty low odds. Not bad. So can I kill that sectoid? Oh, he's on overwatch. I'll just use overwatch myself then. And wait back here. He'll probably move towards me and trigger my reaction shots. Come here. I'm waiting for you. No, he doesn't want to move. Okay, we can use overwatch again. I don't mind waiting. I don't have lightning reflexes, so I can't do this safely. Oh, I can actually see him from back here. All right. And he's dead. So one more group or are we done? One more group. Let's read all everything. Oh yeah, I could hear some drones, right. There are definitely some drones in here. Maybe they will patrol into me? That might be a group of sectoids with one drone or something like that. But I can definitely hear a drone. That's for sure. Reload. And wait one more turn. Yep, there's one group. Right there. Let's go that way then. If my infantry gets some more kills, he might actually get a promotion. Can I check his experience or something? No, I don't think I can do that during the actual mission. That wasn't ever possible, but I thought maybe Long War added something, but no. Let's move slowly and carefully. There's no need to rush. And now I can use this location. Reload. Overwatch. Will be best if they run into me. <laughs> What's that sound? I'm not actually sure what kind of alien that is. Dash over here. Let's check that building. Might be something inside. So this looks safe. There we go. That's the group. That's just one drone. Two drones. Is that the last two aliens in here? I'm not sure anymore. 84%. Not miss. Well, that's not exactly what I had in mind, but okay. 66%. You fail. Shot failed to connect. Yes, I noticed. 22%. Come on, dude. That's your kill over there. Or not? Well, came. no promotion for you. Now. Let's try to get rid of at least one drone. 70%. Seriously, this won't get much better. Okay, one down. I don't think I can destroy the other one. I have one more shot only. If that. 
Yeah, I can't see the remaining drone. Oh well, I got rid of one of them. And one drone can't really do enough damage to kill anyone. But now he will have a defensive bonus, unfortunately. So it will be a little bit harder to hit that one. Let's see. So is this the last alien or not? I guess we'll find out. I can just go up here and try to hit him that way. Sure, why not? The only problem with that plan is that the drone will just flank me if I don't destroy it. Okay, two damage. I need one more hit. I can try firing from back here. Nope, missed. Come on. 36%. Nope. Okay, how many more shots do I have? Probably two more. Come on, stop missing. That's not very useful. This is my last shot with the medic. So, from here. Okay, please don't miss. 42%. Great, so now the drone can flank my infantry. Which kind of sucks, but there's no way it can do 7 damage. But I will definitely get hit. Yeah, that's 3 damage. He will be fine, but I need to get rid of that drone right now. And... I can't even see it anymore. Okay, I can see it from back here. It's down. So, is the mission done? Yes, it's done. Did we get any promotions? I think I got promotion with that last shot. My rookies should get promotions just because they completed the mission. At least some of them? Yes. So, what did we get? Light them up or run it gun? Well, with 59 aim, I think Assault is the only reasonable option. So, she will be Assault. Grenadier or Field Medic? Let's grab Engineer. I think I have two Medics already. And only one Engineer, that's Jeff. As for this guy... Lightning Reflexes, Squad Sight. He won't be a very good sniper with low aim, so Lightning Reflexes to grab a scout. So that was a quick mission, but I'm going to finish this here and continue in next part. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.